Hello everyone and welcome back to Power User Guide and in today's video we are going to look at something interesting which is how you can look at user logs in Moodle. If you don't know this already Moodle is a learning management system which is often used by schools. One of the main advantages is that it's open source. I don't work for a school myself or with a school but I have been using Moodle with a company to deliver courses for them. And this week a discussion came up where one of the students claimed that they had completed a certain part of a course where we believe that wouldn't have been the case. And to prove that we had to do some research and at first we looked at a Moodle feature which is called, I think it's called course progress which shows you what you've seen in the course. But that wasn't definite enough of an answer for the for the client and we had to look for more information. That's when we came up with the user logs. Well, we didn't came up with it. It is a feature that exists in Moodle. And basically what it does is it logs every step that every student and teacher takes on the website. It basically creates one gigantic log in the database of everything that anyone has done at a given moment. It may look a bit like overkill to track all of that. But it can actually be a really great and useful tool. And in case you ever need that, because you may not know this, but end users always lie. Well, not all of them all the time, but you will all always end up with end users that lie. And in that case, the log files will have your back and prove whether or not something happened. Now let's switch away from looking at my face and switch to the screen so we can take a look at the Moodle website where I will be censoring out the user data, of course. And then I'll show you how to access these logs. As you can see, I already skipped this step. I already logged in and it's important to know that I am logged in as a manager of the website, which is someone who has full access to all of the features. I already went to site administration and with the options that you have presented, you will want to go to users because we want to see a specific log for a specific user to make a point or to look something up or whatever your reasons may be. And what you then can then do is go to the list of users. And as you will see, this is the list of users and a lot of it will be, you know, grayed out because to be honest, it's none of your business who these users are because I'm doing it in a live environment. That's how we roll here, living in a danger zone. And what you can then do is click a user and I am going to try and if you click on the username, you end up on their profile, which has a bit of GDPR sensitive information like their name and their IP address and their email address. You should probably have a plan in place to be able to remove that kind of information, but that would take us too far. And to be honest, I haven't researched that yet because the course was made in a professional setting where not all GDPR rules apply as far as I understand. Now what you need to do is you need to go to the report section and you have two options there. You could click today's logs, but it is far more interesting to click on all logs in this case. When you click on that option, you're then presented by the log file. In my case, I have scrolled down a bit, but just to skip past the graph. And what you will then see is a full list of all the actions that are taken. In the first field, you will be seeing the date when that action took place. It's in uh, reverse order, so the latest action will be on top. Next, you will have the user's full name and the username. And then you will have the action and a description of the action and where it was taken from. And in the final field, you will have their IP address from which the action was registered. Now, of course, the username isn't very important in this specific case because you already know what user you were looking for. But what is interesting is the detailed information. For example, if you look at the bottom of the screen, you can see that the user first failed to log in, most likely because the password did not match. And uh, then he was logged out, of course, he logged in again. And then we can see that the user with ID 71, which is the user himself, 
you will notice that the user with ID, that's always the user that you are looking at. And then you can follow the actions. They have viewed their My Courses page. They have viewed their dashboard. They have viewed their dashboard again. And their last action was they viewed their course with ID 1, which is the very first module of the course, which was basically just an intro saying, hey, welcome to the course. And after that, there was no more action on behalf of the user. And in our case, the user claimed that he, you know, completed the entire course, which would normally result in many, many more entries in the database. It would have to say the user viewed the course with ID, blah, 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 for a certain amount of times. He would have completed an exam and at some point completed a few tests. And as you can see, none of that happened. And because of that, we were able to convince the person in charge that nothing happened with the course for this user. As you can see, these log files can be a very valuable tool in case you have to make a point. For example, uh, a student claims that they made, they followed certain modules and then they left the course and you lost the course progression, things like that or whatever you may need the log file for, you can just go to the user and then consult the log file. And if you can't access it for some reason, you can always ask a manager to look it up for you. This will give you valuable information about the actions that the user took and it can be used as proof or help you get an idea of where they were stuck or something. It's completely up to you how you use that file and hopefully you remember how you got there. I will try to summarize. You first log in, you go to Site Administration, Users, then you select the user, go to the Reports part, and then you click uh, View All Logs and then you get this overview that you are presented with here, which shows you exactly what the user has done or hasn't done. I hope that this video was useful for you and that it helps you manage Moodle a little bit more. And hopefully we'll see you soon with another video that will be just as useful as this one. And until then, we wish you the best.